Hi, this is Professor CC19, here today with part three of the Understanding Algodoo tutorial. Now this is the climax video, the final video in this three-part series, and today we're actually going to be building a marble race using the things we've learned in the first two parts. We're going to be using the tools that we have here that we learned in part one, and we're going to be using the things that we have imported into our components file from other scenes as we learned in part two. So since I have a 15-minute uh, limit for my videos, I'm going to cut to the chase and jump right in here. First off, we have 50 marbles that will be participating in this race. I imported these during part two from a scene made by Sarcoptus on Algabox, so thank you to him for these marbles and some of the elements I'm going to be using in this race. Some of this I'm going to be making using only these tools, and then towards the end I'm going to use some things that I will import. Now, at the end of part one, I asked you, I mean, at the end of part two, I asked you if you were psychic or not. Um, who knows? Maybe someone out there is. But um, I asked you to predict what marble you think will win this race, and I chose this one because I like the color. I got a 1 out of 50 shot, so <laughs> I guess that's as good as I'll get. Um, so let's start building the course. Now, um, the first thing to keep in mind is your imagination is the only limit to what you build. As long as you make a course that functions well, you can make it as simple or as complex as you desire. So let's start with um, a containment area for the starting portion of these marbles. Because the most important thing, probably the most important thing, is making sure you have control of where your marbles go. So I'm going to take the brush tool, I'm going to hold down shift to make sure I draw a straight line, and I'm going to drag this up top. And I'm going to continue to do that until we have an area here surrounding the marbles so that they are contained and aren't going to spill out off course. All right, so now that I have this area surrounding the marbles, they're not going to go flying everywhere. And I'm going to have to remember as I go to glue each of these items to the background. I can't emphasize that enough. You can't have a race if things just fall. Go to Geometry Actions, Glue to Background. And that's also the reason why you test your races. Because if you're doing this a lot with the brush tool, Odds are you might forget if you're not doing it right then and there. So if you test your race as often as possible, you'll remember to go back and glue certain things to the background that you might have forgotten earlier. So now I'm going to make a ramp using the same tool at a slighter angle so the marbles will proceed down it. Then I'm going to make a barrier so the marbles stop there and then go back in the opposite direction. All right, so this is the starting part of the race. This time I'm just going to highlight these objects and glue them all to the background at once. Now let's do a quick test right now to see if all these marbles can make it through this opening okay. It looks like they can. So a pretty fair start, and the marbles are just going to mix around a little bit as they drop off here. So there we go, that part works. Now for this next part, I'm going to show you two ways to make a bowl in your race. The first thing we can do is go to our components and add in the bowl that we imported from another scene. And yeah, that'll work just fine. If I hit play, these marbles will go down the hill just as before, and they will compete in this bowl to see who can make it through the hole first. So that's uh, the style you can use to import. And I'm going to keep this bowl here, but I'm also going to show you how you can make another bowl. And this time, you're not going to import it, you're going to make it from scratch. First step is to make a box using the box tool. I'm going to make it fairly large, but you definitely want it taller than it is wide. Not like this. The next step is to take a circle, or the circle tool, and make a circle. Try and center it at the center of your box. So make it like this, 
You can adjust the circle so it's as close to centered as possible. Let me see, is that centered? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And here's the most important step. In order to cut out the circle and get close to making your bowl, what you do is you right click just the circle, not the box, just the circle. You go down to combine shapes and hit subtract. Then you right click once again and delete only the circle and voila, you have the cutout. And um, in the same way, or a very similar way, I'm going to actually make this into a bowl. I'm going to take my eraser tool. I'm going to go up to my marbles and I'm going to try and adjust the size so it's about the same size as my marbles are wide, just a little bigger. 0.47 looks pretty good. And I'm going to come down to here and while holding shift to make sure this is straight, I'm going to erase this portion of my box with the circle cut out. And then I'm going to come down here, do the exact same thing. Holding shift, erasing the center portion. So now I have two bowls, really, that my marbles can go through. I take my knife tool, go right down the middle, hit shift once again to make sure it's straight. Actually, that's not quite middle. Middle would be more like here. And now I have two bowls that I can use. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees so it looks like a regular bowl. And voila, this is a bowl I can use. And I made it from scratch. I didn't have to import it. So that's how you can make your own bowl to use. In order to make it a bit more interesting for the competition, I'm going to go to the material. I'm going to increase the restitution to about 0.8. And I'm going to decrease the friction. That means it'll be a lot tougher for the marbles to get through them. And um, instead of doing the same thing with this bowl, I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to clone this bowl so it already has the built-in friction and um, restitution that I want. And here we go. We have these bowls. Now, these still are things that you created, so you have to remember, glue them to the background. Anything that you make with the tools will not be glued to the background. You will have to do it manually. All right, I want to still maintain control over my marbles, so I'm going to build a barrier here so they don't go flying, and I'm going to build a barrier here so they don't go flying. I'm going to glue each of them to the background. All right. So, the marbles are going down through these bowls, and I want to make a couple more things before we have the actual race, the first of which involves gears. I'm going to clone this part. You're using the parts you already have to make the race down below, and I'm going to angle it so it's a bit more of a steep incline this time. And it's going to lead to a series of gears. So let's see here. Let's use the gear tool. Let's make, um, I don't really care how many teeth, let's make seven. All right, and let's right click, go to axles, we're gonna hit motor, and we're going to increase the motor speed, let's say to 25 or so. That way we can have these gears, instead of being carriers, to mix the marbles around instead. And I'm going to clone this, go down to axles, hit reversed. So that means that the gear is the same speed, only in the opposite direction. So just with these two now, I'm just going to clone them again. I'm going to move these down here. Same thing, clone again. This time I'm going to invert them so there's a different pattern. Um, I'll clone just this one so it looks like even down through. And clone these three so we have one more layer. All right, so there's a system of gears that will mix up the marbles. And I want to quickly clone this once again so that we can build an area where the marbles are contained. So we're going to put this here, clone it, rotate, put this down below. That's where the marbles will come out. Clone it again, rotate. 
And this is the area so marbles don't go flying. All right. Um, in fact, I'm also going to use the scaling tool. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I do want to extend this a little bit. So I want to make sure that the marbles don't have any room for escape. All right, so for sure, the marbles are not escaping this part of the course now. Um, cloning this once again, extending it out. And this is where the marbles will end up. Notice I'm using the same piece over and over again. I'm just cloning it. That's giving me a bit of an advantage because um, I don't have to be creating new pieces every time. I have something that I'm using. It's working well. All right, so now we just need the final portion of this race. I'm going to import it this time. This is not a very long race. I don't have very much time in these videos. I'm just showing you a lot of different elements. This time I want the classic shooter showdown. So I'm going to click this, importing, and lining this up right here. I'm also going to clone this one more time, adjusting it like this so the marbles don't fly off down below either. I can make a very small adjustment right here so marbles don't get past. Gluing this to the background. Oops, don't want that. All right, so now I'm just going to press play really quick, making sure I have glued everything to the background, and I have. And now you can see a lot of this we made ourselves. Some of the things you can import or you can make yourself. And then this bottom part is something we imported. We use a lot of the different tools. I showed you a way that you can make something by yourself that you could import at the same time. It's up to you. This is a fairly simple race, but this sh one should be interesting. I should uh, do one final test here. I'm going to take one of the marbles and make sure it fits through each of these bowls. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And into here, maybe? Yes, it does. All right. So everything is set. Good luck to whoever you chose. Three, two, one, go. All right, so as the marbles go down this course for the end of this video, I hope that these three videos have helped you a lot with your understanding of Algadoo. I hope you get Algadoo to try for yourself. Maybe you can build some marble races to show me. That would be cool. Um, but if you do, remember these things that I've told you. The tools, the blue to create, the yellow to edit, the green are extras. Use the things that other people have made by importing your objects by dragging them to the red car and then using them as your components. And when building a race, remember to glue things to the background, make sure you have control over where your marbles are going, and test as often as possible to um, eliminate those situations where you have to go back to the start and undo a lot of the work that you've already done in order to get the race to function right. It'll save you a lot of time if you test more often than not um, than if you just go all the way to the end and then find a lot of things that might affect each other when you have to fix, fix them. And here we go. We have a winner. The winner is Magenta. So as I was explaining how to build the course, we saw the marbles go down the course. Your winner is Magenta. Second place, I guess that's like a purplish, like a violet purple. Who will get third? Third place, and then I'll finish the video. I see the other marbles coming in here. Are we going to get a third place finisher? Yes, we are. And it looks like a classic blue. All right, so that's the, these are the results of the actual race of the course that we made. Magenta is the winner. We have a violet purple-ish color for second. Blue third. It looks like a spring green fourth, like a ocean or a spring green, and then green fifth. And here comes like a yellowish orange. All right, so if you found this video or these three videos helpful to you, please subscribe. If um, 
you are going to build a marble race. Remember, test as often as you can and maintain control of your marbles. Those are the two most important things. I wish, your, I wish you luck in your adventures and your endeavors in this program, and thanks for watching.